Who who was your gateway drug? Like who who was Malcolm. For? Malcolm? Malcolm. Off top. He just evolved, like kept evolving right in front of us. Yeah. And I, it was the similarity to me. I'm like, you, you you remember the movie The Truman Show where you like, yo, is this a movie? Like so many of the things that I read in his autobiography, I'm like, yo, this is like me. You know, no different than in reading, you know, uh, certain contradictions like in Thomas Jefferson. I'm like, dude wrote this. This was dope. Dude owned people too. That's not so dope. There's a contradiction. Right. And so seeing it, it created, Malcolm is the one know that I looked for his contradictions. I couldn't find them. Even when they ran the tapes back of when, um, you know, Malcolm was under heavy CIA surveillance. And um, what is it called? The COINTELPRO. Mm-hmm. So was Dr. King. And they would run the tapes back and supposedly Dr. King had affairs. I don't know. I wasn't there. And Dr. King's a great man in my mind. And, you know, chicks are chicks and he's dope. So whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get like an anti-sexist. I'm going to get the anti-feminist tweet after that. But anyway, there was no, there was never no um, tapes of Malcolm stepping out on his lady. So he consistently owned who he was. When I was Detroit Red, I'm pimping, I'm slapping bitches. That's what it is. I got a fucking slick back perm. I'm pimping. Go to jail. I'm in jail. That's it. You know, I'm I'm trying to beat back this addiction to drugs. You get exposed to new information. You know, hey, I learned about same thing. You learn all of this history about American history that was untold. You get mad at white people. Some of it, I think they're trying to make people mad at white people now. And again, don't get me wrong. Like American history is ugly. And it was ugly for the colonizers too. It was the starving times happened, bro. Like digging up your own like horses and having to eat them. So saying all of this to say, Malcolm's mad now. He's like, you devils. (laughs) I hate you devils. And it's like he owned that. Then he gets ousted by the Nation of Islam. He goes to Mecca. He sees white, Spanish, Latin, whatever, people uh, evolving in brotherhood under the form of Islam. He comes back. He says, you know what? I was kind of tripping right there. But there is kind of like racism happening. So he evolved again. Um, He just kept evolving, and I couldn't find his contradiction. You know what I mean? When I was robbing people, it's like, yeah, I'm going to rob you. I'm going to take your shit. It's not like I'm going to steal it. I'm going to take it barefaced. Uh, there's honor in that. It well, kinda. You know what I mean. Um, so for me, but you decided at some point that that there wasn't anymore. Yeah, there's no honor in it in reality because your your perception of what you're calling honorable, you can tell yourself. It's like warlords always come up with like these real like freedom based names. But you it. you rationalize it because they're drug dealers and drug dealers are bad. Boom. Right, and it's like, well, so what? And it, that's that's how you rationalize it. But the reality is you just want to take from somebody that can't tell. Because if they tell, you go to jail. There's less chance of them, like, what are you going to do? Hey, man, this guy took my Coke. Can you guys, police officers, can you get it back for me? You know what I'm saying? And there's a code of ethics that you don't tell. If you're outside doing what you're doing, now that part is honorable. I've chosen to do a thing, you know, that it comes with these, you know, pros and cons. And I'm not telling on nobody else because I got caught up in the jam or I wasn't paying attention. Um, But over time and fast forward, going back to the reading, you know, it's like, yo, this war on drugs is like not really working. Like where's like wars like they end. Like like what do we when I was little, like Nancy Reagan was like, oh, like say no. And it's like, yo, bro, is we still saying no? Like, n- nothing happened? So then learning a little bit more, it's like, yo, you actually were wrong for robbing those dudes. Because um, you, you were fed something that you didn't really uh, objectively analyze. Because you could, for whatever reason, your schooling, your blah, 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 whatever. So, um, so take all these intellectual influences, um, Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman, yeah. Milton Friedman, Thomas Paine. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure anyone else has ever mashed up those four guys into a cohesive philosophy. 